Many of you have started your YouTube channels and you're well on your way to the 100 subscriber mark. Some of you have already hit that mark and you're on to your next milestone. I want to share with you some tips on what I would do if I had 100 subscribers and how I would grow my channel fast to hit that 1000 subscriber mark. Before we do anything, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I have many more videos coming your way. This video shout out goes to all things Jessica. Thank you so much for watching my videos and just being a part of this community. Hi, my name is Catherine Perry and I help you grow your YouTube channel the right way. In this video, I wanted to share with you some things that I would do if I had 100 subscribers. I always like to plan out my goals and try and figure out a way to get to that point, but you need to take action if you want to achieve them. So here are some things that I would do to hit that next milestone. Make sure you watch this video to the very end because there's lots and lots of good tips here. So number one is start commenting on other YouTubers' channels. This is one thing that I regret not doing earlier. I think for me overall commenting was something that was nerve wracking for me because I didn't know what to say and I also didn't think that I had anything good to say. But I had the wrong mindset and I really wished I had started earlier commenting and connecting with people on other people's YouTube videos and channels. I think commenting is so valuable because you're giving some insightful information out, you're giving your you're sharing your thoughts on what you learned from the video. And it's a great way to connect with the YouTuber that created the video and the YouTubers that were, are within the community. So this is one thing that I highly recommend that you start doing as soon as you start your channel. Number two is go live. Many people get nervous about hearing the words go live on your YouTube channel. And yes, I was nervous and that's why I had to set a goal for myself almost to say if I reach this mark, then I'm going to go live. I highly recommend you start doing this as early as you can because that way you're going to connect with your audience and build up your fan base. I love going live and I really, really, really regret this part of not starting it earlier on my channel because I've connected with you all so much and I've been able to answer all your questions. The crazy thing is I always do this to myself where I say to myself, I can't do this. Yeah, I'm, I don't have enough people on here. And yes, that might be a factor. You might be nervous that there's not gonna be someone showing up to your live. The best way that I can tell you is have something planned out. Even if there's no one on there with you, have a, a sort of an outline planned out for the live. So this is one that you're gonna have to jump past the fear and start doing. Number three, collaborate. I actually did collaborate with another YouTuber when I had 200-ish subscribers. At the time, I was making mommy lifestyle content and I collabed with another YouTuber who had around 10K subs. How may you ask? I got to know her and for the longest time I watched her grow and actually cared about her over myself. I always have kindness first in my mind then if you want to collab that is great. For me collabs are longer term so that is why I say build, connect, then collaborate. Number four is watch a ton of YouTube. In the beginning I just created content which is great this is what I want you to do. I want you to start and I want you to get out there and start creating. But don't forget to actually consume some YouTube. I never really actually watched videos within my industry for the longest time. But for me, I watched a lot of other videos outside of my industry. And I actually think that helped me within my category because I'm a YouTube growth strategist. So I need to know uh, a lot of different niches. I need to understand the YouTube algorithm itself. But for you as a maybe a mommy lifestyle content creator, you need to actually consume mommy vlogs or mommy lifestyle videos. So this is why you need to sit down and study your industry take about 10, 15 minutes out of your day, watch one video even, and start to get to know what you do and you don't like. For example, for me, I watch a lot of travel channels. Yes, that's nothing to do with my industry, but I watch a lot of travel channels. And I always notice exactly what keywords they're using to actually get their videos to stand out and pop. I also watch a lot of growth channels. And that's because I like to stay up to date with my industry to see what's going on within my industry but I also notice what the keywords that they're using to pop and make their videos stand out. So that's just a couple of examples. I watch a ton of different videos in a ton of different industries and niches. So you need to start doing this more often so that you get to know what's popping and maybe that you can stand out on YouTube. Number five is take YouTube seriously. Now there's many creators out there that just create to have fun and that's great, you do that. But if you actually want to grow your channel, then you need to take it seriously. Many of us have this mindset going in that it's just gonna happen or you know, views will just happen, YouTube will just pick me up one day. But if you want to grow, if you wanna make this a longer term thing for your future, then you need to take it seriously and think of it as another job. So if you're gonna do it and you want to grow, you need to be consistent, you need to follow like all the tips that people are giving you and actually do them every single day. And then that's when you're gonna see the growth because it does take hard work and dedication. 
This is another job. This is another thing that you're doing to maybe create uh, a new lifestyle for yourself, something that you want to change your future with, or you want to help lots and lots of people. Think of it as a long-term thing and that you're not going to give up just because one video didn't do so well. For me, I'm very busy and I had to decide, is this something that I can do long-term? Is this something that I can do and see a future with? And I said, yes, it is, but I had to make sure that I worked it into my schedule and that I could actually be consistent. I'm a full-time wife and mother. I edit, I clean, I do all that jazz, and there's a lot of things going on in my life, but I made the time to make sure that I could actually do YouTube. Comment below how long you've been creating videos. I've been creating videos for four years and I just love it, but I would love to know how long you've been creating videos. Comment below and let me know. Number six, focus on learning and understanding your analytics. I never cared about my analytics until this year. I think because I didn't take the time to fully understand it. It was just confusing and overwhelming and at the time I just thought, oh, this is just numbers and it doesn't really make sense, so it doesn't mean anything. That means I ignored the important part of YouTube that was going to help me grow my channel. This is something I highly recommend you dive into and work hard at. Don't blow over this part, it is very important. Number seven is focus on your audience and what they want. I wish I started focusing on what my audience wanted more because I just did videos for the heck of it. In the beginning, many of us just create and that's great, but you need to actually focus on what your audience is enjoying. Many of the ProTubers that I've shared on my channel before, you can see that they've actually focused in on topics that their audience loves. Yes, make sure you're doing content for yourself so that you can keep that creative spark going, but make sure you're creating content for your audience because they are the viewers, they are the ones watching your videos, and they are the ones that are gonna make your channel grow. Number eight, make more content. I would make way more content that gave out lots of value to my audience. I think in the beginning we tend to hold back because we think we may be sharing too much or have a fear that people are hating on us. But if I could go back, I would tell myself to create more content and do better with each video I create. Number nine, be myself and not like others. This one is hard. I used to try and act like others, which actually hurt my confidence and my channel as a whole. One, because people didn't feel a connection, and two, I didn't feel a connection. This is by far the hardest thing to do. Look at the YouTubers that stand out. Kelly Stamps, Catherine Manning, Casey Neistat, they all have their own channel based around a topic, but also around their personalities. Number 10 is a secret tip that I like to share, is research topics and find videos that have high views, but have not been done in a long time. Let me explain. So basically what you need to do is you need to go onto your YouTube and go to search. Search at the top. This is a topic that is just an example that I'm gonna share with you. You don't have to use it for your own videos. This is just an example. So search for the topic, a very broad topic on how to make K-pops, for example. This is so broad and so open that there's gonna be a lot of search results for this, but we just want to search and see what comes up. We're not looking at keywords right now. We're not looking at anything else. We're just looking to see what comes up. So right here at the top, you'll see the videos that are doing really well, that are ranking in search, that are popular on YouTube. So we look at this and we see 3.1 million views. We see eight years. And we're going to click into them and see how many subscribers they have. So right here, you see that they have 922K subscribers. And what I want you to do is find a video that has more views than subscribers, because that way you can see exactly what videos are standing out within cake pops. So that is the potential topic that we could use for our cake pops. There is this one. Let's look at this one. It says how to make cake pops, easy homemade cake pop recipe. Now we look at this and it was done a year ago. So what you want to do is you want to find videos that have been just done a year ago that have a lot of views, we'll see how many views to subscribers they have. So let's click into them and you see that they have 153K subscribers. So with that being said, let's go back to the video and see exactly what views to video, we views to subscribers we have. So they have 1.9 million subscribers and 153K subs. This to me shows me that this title, this topic, this whole, he did really well with this. This is what you, uh, along the lines of something similar that you wanna do. So this is exactly what I want you to do. Instead of copying them word for word and everything that they do, I want you to take that video and see how you could do it better. 
How could you do a cake pop video better and get creative and keep their audience's attention longer on that video? So you see the thumbnail is nice, but could you make it better? Could you do a better thumbnail for something similar that you're making? This one is also a nice one. 1.1 million views. Let's look at their subscribers. 18.8K. That's a big difference considering. So they had 18K subscribers and they have 1.1 million views on this cake pop video. So what made that video stand out? Well, there's a few reasons. It was very bright. The thumbnail is very bright. It's it poppy. It stands out. It's pink, you know, colorful. Obviously she's using, you know, a keywords in it that are popping and standing out. Again, you would have to see if they work really well with your channel. The video itself is about 12 minutes. If you could make a longer video and keep the audience on longer on your video, then you're going to have a higher chance of ranking and get your video higher. So this is a tip that I would really suggest you looking into doing when you're first starting out. These are all tips that I wish I did early on. So I hope this helped you just give you that a little bit of boost and hopefully you can reach that next milestone. Remember to hit that subscribe button because I have many more videos coming your way. And there's videos below that you can check out that will help you grow your channel. If you also may like these videos, they're gonna help you grow your YouTube channel the right way. And as always guys, don't forget to create adventure and live to inspire. Have a good one.